Yudroheimer returns to add another flex to his endless resume. Bucky fans think Doppo died due to some funny fan edit. Keha vs Doppo is continuing I guess and much more to discuss in today's Bucky video. Subscribe for more, let's get into it. We still have no new information about when the next anime season will be released, only that it's in production. Videos like this tend to spread misinformation so I recommend watching out. First up, Doppo did not die. I've received an insane amount of comments asking about this, which has kinda left me stunned as the fan edit was very clearly an edit. Just check it out. So the match ends, he falls to the ground, and then we get the following dialogue. Even after winning, a jobber he remains. Jobber is a term coined by like the Bucky and Kangen fandoms or this like the manga fandom as a whole for characters that job in various fights. This isn't like in any actual series, I thought that was the first obvious choice. But he falls and that is the end of Doppo with this panel here of his funeral. The edit is like very very funny, like absolutely hilarious but People thought this was real and actually part of the manga. I guess you could blame the various websites that just take whatever translation and upload it there. The actual chapter ended with Doppo defeating Keiha, giving back his ears and then pretty much walking away after claiming victory. If you need some clarification of which is the best translated version of the Bucky manga as we don't have an official English translation, after the chapter, there should be this black screen with the following people labelled as like the cleaner, translator, typesetter, etc. These people are the most reliable and I guess respected in the fandom. So if you're not sure, just I guess wait to the last page and you should be able to see this. If you don't see this, it most likely is some other translation or maybe some like goofy, funny fan edit. But just to let everyone know, Doppo is still alive and we do actually see him in one of the two chapters I'm going to talk about in today's video. But first up, Yudro returning. So it's been three or four chapters, Yudro once again needs to appear. He's more of like a transition character. Doppo vs Kea was I guess thought to be over even though it isn't which I'll discuss shortly. But a transition character to like something happens, time to show what Yudro is up to then cut to something else. And let's talk about what our boy Yudro is up to. So fishermen use this harpoon gun which has been created to kill 100 ton whales and Yudro wants this man to shoot it at him. And once again a reoccurring theme of Bucky Dow 2018 is Yudro's aura. We did see his aura back in his fight against Bucky during the Son of Ogre manga but it's been more emphasised in Bucky Dow now. And we have the fisherman calling it a heat haze around him which is very badass. I love panels like this, this Yudro's face looking absolutely menacing and once again looking thicker than ever. And then we have the fisherman pretty much call Yudro equivalent to 10 sperm whales which as we all know is a huge understatement. Before I continue, let me know down in the comments how you think Yudo is going to deal with this harpoon gun. Is he going to stand there and just watch it bounce off of him, which I personally would have loved to see. That isn't what happened, but imagine we got that. I'm going to talk about the rules for the next chapter now as we get to directly see what happens. So pretty much Yudo redirects the harpoon gun with one finger. So I guess Yujo's redirecting character has gone through a huge improvement over I guess the 4 chapter break. The panels are absolutely badass, he just grabs his finger, goes whoosh, and it's gone. Like, man, absolutely monstrous. I would have loved, as I just mentioned, him to just tank it and it bounce off him. That could I guess end the long lasting debate of whether Yudro can just straight up tank bullet, which he pretty much should be able to as we see Oliver tank shotgun blasters in the second manga series. We see Pickle tank a pistol shot. Yudro is above both of them so should be able to tank bullets, but I already know some people are going to mention the tranquilizer darts that hit Yudro and knocked him out. It could be just Yudro getting stronger as that was in the first manga series. We all know Yudro has been getting stronger from arc to arc. So I guess Yujo is stronger than what he was when he got taken out by those tranquilizer darts. However, those same darts were used on Pickle during the Pickle arc as well to knock him out and transport him around. So maybe they're just, I guess, built different. Maybe in the future we'll see Yujo challenging one of those to see what happens. That could be pretty cool and a 
crazy thing to you know end people complaining about that issue in the series but yeah so pretty much he deflected it with one finger and that is pretty much Yujiro's new flex to add to his resume. Very cool stuff, Itagaki just loves giving Yujiro these various chapters of him just doing crazy stuff and I think all the Sparky fans just enjoy it as well. Simply seeing Yujiro do something cool like this has this weird effect on I guess the fandom, just cool stuff, Yujiro about us, give us more, we don't care, that's what we like to see. But now to talk about the other stuff, so we all thought the fight between Keiha and Doppo was over, however Keiha with his ribs broken, his ears destroyed, has returned to I guess fight Doppo even more. It seems like he's pretty much unconscious or barely conscious at this point, but he attacks Doppo in the hallway and Doppo just punches him in the face is what I initially thought, but if we look closely, we have Doppo's two fingers out like this, meaning Doppo has potentially just blinded Keiha as well. Something else to also mention is Doppo did a similar thing in his own Bucky Gaiden spin-off manga where he took the eyes of the person who was initially blind, he was fighting him, had given his eyesight back and then took it away from him with I guess the same move. So seeing Doppo do that again has been pretty cool and I think the term Jobba is slowly moving away from Doppo. Is that because he's now thick like Yudro? Who knows but yeah, Doppo needs to get more respect. Throughout Bucket Dow 2018, he has been just taking dubs, so yeah, it is what it is. I think now is the perfect opportunity to use the term Jobba, and that can be placed on KR. What's with the Sumo characters getting beat up and then returning to fight again and then getting beat up even more? I have no idea, but yeah, Keiha, no ears, potentially no eyes, and Doppo is once again an absolute savage. This should be the end of Keiha forever, at least I hope. I thought last chapter was going to be the end of Keiha forever, or he would like return in the future alongside Tsukune, but now he should never return. Hopefully this has been probably one of the most embarrassing showings out of any like newly introduced character. So yeah, rip him, Doppo an absolute menace. And once again, give us Jack Hype returning. Show us Jack in the next chapter and we'll all be happy once again. And yeah, that should be everything for today's video. Stay tuned for a Bucky Hot Takes video as my next upload. I got people in the Discord server, if you haven't joined already, consider joining to be part of future videos to leave their Bucky Hot Takes. So that will be the next video after this one. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out all the other stuff in the description. And of course, shout out to the Mad Lads who support the channel via the Patreon. Also, new mysterious mask thing. Let me know your thoughts on that. But that's it guys. Peace.